Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim, he's Nate, this is a Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report College Football Blog, and uh, we just wanted to talk to you guys quickly about the national title that went down tonight, or last night, obviously, Alabama won 21 nothing. they are your 2011, or, uh, 2012 national champions, and, uh, basically the ratings for this game were absolutely atrocious. And if you ask me, the game itself was absolutely atrocious. But, Nate, what do you think? Well, Tim, it, I, I have to say, for me, it wasn't as boring as the first one because it wasn't as close and it wasn't as defensively sided. I mean, um, I mean, Alabama just destroyed LSU's offense. And Alabama's offense just ran over the... LSU's D. It was almost sad to see how bad LSU played. Yeah, but I thought the first time when it was... Cl I'll take a defensive game when it's closer than a defensive game when it's 21 to nothing. And that still kind of was a defensive game last night because LSU wasn't allowing huge touchdowns. They were holding them to field goals every time. And ultimately, if you're the number one team in the country, you should be able to score enough points when your defense played... I mean, I don't want to make it sound like their LSU's defense played as good as they can because they didn't. But I know when your defense holds the other team, the number two team in the country, to field goals, there's no reason you shouldn't win the game. I completely agree. I think I think LSU's offense just was just not trying last night. And Nick Saban did a great job. Um, uh, Alabama's coach did a great job of using Alabama's defense to almost shut down the LSU's offense, though. I think he, he did a great job coaching this second time around. Yeah, he did, and uh, certainly props go out to Alabama and the 2012 national champions, and really a game that I think by most part people in a, a bowl season overall that is going to be forgotten. I think the bowl season really w was not as impressive this year because the games were not on New Year's, and because it lacked great matchup. So, uh, don't get me wrong, the Baylor game was really good, the uh, Fiesta Bowl I enjoyed watching, but there were not too many games that I looked at and I said, oh, I'm going to remember that game in five years. I, I think the one reason that this game will be remembered is because it's the first shutout in BCS championship history. I think that's the reason why this game is going to be remembered. Yeah, and I think for most people, that's probably going to be a negative reason why it's remembered. But who knows? Um, the idea now of adding a playoff has come up. What do you think about that? I completely agree with that, Tim. I think that this whole setting up minor bowls here and there against top-ranked teams and then having some teams like Boise State, who I believe ended at number five this year, play in a bowl. That against, was r ridiculous. Um, against or, Arizona. Or he was number seven, excuse me. But they played against ASU in the Maco Bowl. Yeah, the, the fact that the number seven team in the country who lost one game the entire year played against a 6-6 six and six team. And I mean, it's not like TCU wasn't ranked. TCU ended 18 in the year. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, it's just it's absolutely embarrassing. Um, I, I do not like the bowl system one bit. What type of scenario do you think it would be? How many teams would you like to see in a playoff? I would like to see at least 15, because, I mean, you think about how long the bowl season is and how much time you could use to do a playoff season if you take away the bowl season. And I think you could easily have a playoff game where each different playoff game is a represented bowl. You have certain sponsors re represent certain playoff games, so you can keep that whole sponsorship thing of the bowl games but you have a more playoff-oriented type of system. Yeah, but I think if you make it just a playoff game and not the, uh, the bowl game that they're going to be in and then they're done, the sponsors don't want as much because less people will watch. I don't know. I think the idea of adding 15 teams, I think adding 8 or 10 teams is probably the best idea. I think eight teams, 6 or 8 teams is probably the best for me because then you really you get it down to the teams that you know really have a chance. But, like, Oklahoma State, a lot of people feel that Oklahoma State would have beaten LSU, would have beaten Alabama, and they're never going to get the chance to show it. I completely agree. And the way LSU played last night, I would have believed Oklahoma State could have probably beaten them. 
I mean, and Oklahoma State had one of the best bowl games this year against Stanford, and I think it might end up as being the best bowl game of the year. Yeah, and I think that uh, ultimately there's other... People don't necessarily every year want to just see the one versus the two. Sometimes people like to see a playoff system where the number one team gets uh, massively upset in the first or second round and you get a Cinderella. I mean, look at baseball this year. The Phillies, and uh, obviously myself and Nate are Phillies fans, but the Phillies were the best team and they got upset by the Cardinals and whether people watched, I never even bothered to check up on the ratings, but the Cardinals were one of the reasons why this was one of the best World Series in the past year. I mean, the Packers last year were not the number one team in the NFL and then they won the Super Bowl and people enjoy watching that. And I know that college football is probably not as popular as that, but I mean, the Mavs weren't even the best team it would be like in baseball if you just put the Phillies against the Yankees every year and then you just let the other teams play in little games. It would be like if you just put the Lakers against the Celtics or the Red Wings against uh, somebody in the Eastern Conference. Start just think of someone against the Bruins or the Penguins, one of those type of teams. It, it doesn't leave the other teams' chances. And I don't think the team should be... With two or three losses, I don't think fans should be able to say, oh, well, our team was just hitting their stride. Well, part of college bowl season is that you can only lose one or so games if you're really going to be a legitimate bowl. But if you are if you do lose one game, I think you deserve another chance to come back. And I think a lot of times the teams that lose the one game are better than the teams that lose the zero games. I don't know if that necessarily held true this year, but I can certainly think of some examples in the past few seasons where I felt the number four team was better than the number two team. I completely agree. And I mean, in college sports, I think March Madness is a great example of why football should go to a playoff-type scenario. Because March Madness brings in thousands of people's, millions of people's interest all over the world just because it shows, it has that, you could have that number one upset from like a number four or five team. Yeah, and if people are going to fill out a 64-person bracket for March Ma or 64-team, well, no, it's more than 64 now, but uh, whatever it is now, I think it's 68, uh, whatever, if they're going to do that, then they're certainly going to take the time to fill out an 8- to 15-team bracket for college football. I, I think I bring a lot of interest, and I think worst comes to worst, you could always try it for a few years and go back to the other scenario. Uh, it's not going to happen because of money reasons and because there's so much money tied in with these networks and the sponsors, but our, it's not going to happen in the next four or five years. Ultimately, past that, we'll have to see what happens. I know teams were, or the representatives were meeting today to talk about this, but they were not going to talk about having a advanced playoff. They're just talking about a plus one. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. I think that most people are in, in favor of doing a system where there's playoffs because I think this system that we have now is just kind of drain the energy out of most people and people like the Bulls, they enjoyed them for a while and the BCS worked for a certain amount of years and it's reached its shelf life at this point. I agree, Tim. I just think even the coaches are fed up. Coaches and players, not just fans, are fed up with this BCS system. And I don't know, I mean, the idea, obviously the NFL doesn't do this, but the idea of maybe even doing a two- or three-game championship instead of just a one-game thing, because I think that LSU could come back and they could beat Alabama. I felt the entire time that Alabama was a better team, I just thought LSU would win. Uh, I think that if you bring this back, LSU could win another game, and then you draw interest, real big interest for a third game. I don't know. Whatever. It's Cash Guy and AC Sports Report. Leave us your thoughts below. Follow me on Twitter at Cash Guy and AC. Follow Nate at NCAAF of KK and AC. This is the Cash Guy and AC Sports Report. We'll see you guys later.